Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TC World 2018. As you guys can see, we are now moving on to Zorg Macargo. Yeah, Zorg Macargo, one of the most talked about decks um, with Celestial Storm. Our good pal Macargo over there watching over all of our plays. And chat is asking, do I think Zorg Cargo has a chance for Worlds? Zorg Cargo just won the first... Um, like really stacked tournament um, of the season when Celestial Storm was allowed. So yes, I think Zoro Cargo has a very good chance at doing well at Worlds. Now, um, I did go over this deck a while ago and I'm pretty sure I have a mistake in the list. This is actually not the deck. Yeah, it's Zoro Cargo ARG. So this is a list. Yeah, that was my version of Zoro Cargo, which is a few cards different. Um, we have the 2 2 Macargo line. Macargo with its ability smooth over. You get to search your deck, place any card that you want at the top, and then you shuffle your deck. And then with Zoro GX, you actually get to trade, draw two cards, one of them being the card that you smoothed over it for. So every turn, you're guaranteed to get at least one card that you need specifically whilst the others can be random. Or if you end up getting double Macargo and double Zorg, then you get two cards every single turn. Um, playing Zorg Macargo at a League Challenge seems like a good play. Um, would I play Zorg Macargo if World was tomorrow? No, I'm actually not that big of a fan of the deck. Um, it's not quite my playstyle, um, but I do think the deck is very, very strong. Um, so it's Zorak Macargo, then we have the Sylvian EX with its dress up attack in order to counter Rayquaza. We have Mew EX with its versatile ability in order to counter um, Buzzwall GXs and baby Buzzwalls. And then we have Oranguru resource management to be able to reuse all the uh, denial and resources that we have in order to out resource our opponent. And we have double ALA for setup. Now, the original list by Torch Reclef had four Tapulele. Now we are running two Tapulele and four Bridget. And why is that? Because bench management is very important. Proud City is everywhere as well. So you'd rather have the raw Bridget than have to Lele for it. Um, four Bridget, three N, one Sycamore, one Cynthia, double Guzma, single Ace Earl, and then we have Delinquent, Team Rocket's Handiwork, and Team Flare Grunt in order to deny resources. We also have the 4 Ultroll and 4 Puzzle of Time, of course. Standard in Zorak decks, we have the Double Evil Soda to get our Zorak active up and running. Um, we have Triple Field Lord to make sure that Carbotoxin is not a threat. And um, Parallel CD is also not bothering us for too long. And then we have Counter one of Counter Catcher, Max Potion, and Red Card, which are essentially um, a non supporter version of Guzma, um, Acerola, and N right with their pros and cons but they are so that in a single turn you can red card essentially n you can ace rola or max potion so you can heal you can counter catchers you can guzma and um play a cynthia or a delinquent or something so you get a lot of um a lot of versatility there um il frank thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to the channel now you've been subscribed for three months and therefore you get an orange table month so thank you so so much and splatube no kukui for the one ko's because this deck is not aiming to one hit ko this deck is aiming to control this deck's name is zorg control not zorg um aggressiveness yeah like you don't use my cargo to get a tc to be able to attack you use my cargo in order to make sure that you are denying your opponent's resources whilst um, if you have time you chip off um, some damage now we also have um, the enhanced hammer to deny energies we have uh, the rescue stretcher to reuse our zorgs and we have a single pearl cd to deny resources we also have reverse valley because baby puzzle can be problematic like against some decks you do need to go the koing route but Against those decks, Kukui actually doesn't make a big difference. Um, and finally, we have the Dull Floatstone, the single weakness policy, and the single choice band. So, let's jump into a ladder and give this deck a try and see if we can adapt our playstyle to it. And yeah, this is I did not make this list. This is the ARG list 
that won this past weekend um, a pretty stacked tournament with lots of tough competition. ARG is a tournament series which um, features tournaments all over the United States and throughout a year and then during that year the players that win get to earn an invite essentially um, to play at the ARG Invitational and it's basically a tournament with a lot of um, really good players and they play for some cash prizes and they allowed Celestial Storm to be used even though it's technically not allowed for um, tournaments, for sanctioned tournaments, since they are not a sanctioned series, they do not have to follow that rule and therefore they did allow um, Celestial Storm to be used. And thank you so much guys for the follows. Um, is it for Bridget's too much, Leonardo? No, I explained in the in the section that you want for Bridget's because you want the raw Bridget in your hand as much as you can. You want to save the bench space, not for Lelif, but for multiple Zorgs and Slokmas. And we are up <laughs> for a mirror match. And I believe mirror matches actually can go on forever with this deck. Yeah. So, no, for Bridget's is not too much because after first one, they are just um, essentially free cards that you can trade away. Okay, um, Eve the Cacnea, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. Um, we have a pretty okay hand because the Evo Soda gets us Macargo. We have a Zork, and then the Macargo can give us a float zone so that we can start with some aggression on our end. But that last bench spot has to be saved for Oren Kuru. Yeah. Um, Telly, you have to type exclamation mark ARG. Yeah. Uh, would Celestial Storm be legal in, in attorney this weekend? Yes, Celestial Storm is legal starting this um, Friday. Okay. And no problem, Leonardo. Just saying, I thought you were. So sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, four Bridget's in Zorak decks is so that you draw them um, naturally much sooner. And there's a Bridget, so not quite identical starts, but very similar. Wait, what? My opponent... Okay, so this is not a mirror match, actually. <laughs> this is, in fact, not a mirror match. This is Zorogarb against Zorg Macargo. And taking the first KO here might not be the best thing to do. We do have a 1-1 Macargo line prized. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna smooth over for a float stone so I can take down this Zorua. Yeah, if Worlds was tomorrow, I would definitely pick Zoro Garb, not Zoro Macargo. It's just not my playstyle. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, I'm a drummer. I mean, even if you play 10 Bridget, you're not guaranteed to get the right um to get the right cards okay so i could sycamore but i don't add too many items to my discard pile however my hand is not that great um do i sycamore or not losing a field lore is not ideal i would put three item cards in my discard pile i think i'm gonna sycamore yeah, I think the Sycamore was worth it. We will be able to set up another Garb. And have I profiled Bus Rock with Celestial Storm legal yet? Uh, not Rednecks, but I've literally added zero cards to Bus Rock um, from Celestial Storm. So um, generally, the cards that worked before, the list that worked, the NAIC lists um, are still very much relevant, in my opinion. Yeah. You know? And yeah, the mirror, the mirror match of this deck, I believe, can get to a point if both players are playing perfectly. It can get to a point where it becomes infinite with everyone just using resource management over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leonardo, that definitely happens. Okay. So there's a Garbotoxin plus Macargo for whatever reason. We're going to see a puzzle. We're going to see the whole puzzle for N, I'd imagine. Um, yep, 
yeah and Anzorua. extinction angel thank you so much for the follow the end doesn't really hurt us that much um we have lost a field blower so that could be problematic if my opponent decides to shut off abilities am i going to arg no arg took place last week and there are no more there are there are no more arg tournaments um so no i did not go to arg and i am not going to arg anytime soon okay so it's my opponent is playing zoro garb with my cargo so he just put my cargo into the deck how do you fit that i don't know duco thank you so much for the host very very kind of you thank you so so much for the host thank you so much for the host and we're seeing another ultra ball we're seeing another zork there's a Cartana. Why would you play Cartana with Psychic Energy, though? And hello, UCF fan. Thanks so much for being here. Thoughts on Buzz for Worlds? Buzz is pretty good. Buzz, I think, has a lot of potential for Worlds. I think Buzz definitely has a lot of potential for Worlds. I am doing okay today. Thank you so much, Duco, for asking. How are you doing? Okay, so my opponent has shut off abilities. My opponent has in fact shot of ability. So very fortunately, we ended up getting an Acerola right here. And he could have been playing Balloon Zero Garb. If he is though, it's not gonna happen this turn. Now, if he didn't have Parallel City the previous turn, he's not gonna, well, if he didn't, if he didn't play Parallel City the previous turn, then that means he doesn't have it right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So now the tables, the, the, the pressure is on him to heal. Yeah. Okay, he has the floatstone. Does he have Another DCE to attack me with? Wow, he's playing basic psychic and unit energy. That's really strange. And we're gonna see an end here. That's completely fine by me. Our hand gets refreshed. We have a chance at finding field lore. We find N, we find a DCE ourselves. And my opponent is just gonna ride just beating here. Okay, so I'm definitely retreating and attacking with this um, Zorg. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna play the Team Rocket's handiwork just for the fun of it. Ending here doesn't make much sense because we know my opponent's hand is not great. So yeah, I'm just gonna Team Rocket's handiwork and flip to tail. So it's like I'm passing. <laughs> it's like I chose not to play a draw supporter anyways. Um, right, just bidding gets us two more prize cards. Where is the four helix fossil of a knight in that ray deck? <laughs> it's for Acrobike, I believe. If you see if you see um Rayquaza, it also probably says Rayquaza EX, not GX. And there's a victory. So yeah, very strange deck by my opponent. Um he he shot off abilities, therefore he Like you only shot off abilities with that deck if um you have a great hand and you're in a great situation like the match was too even there to shut off abilities um it puts us in this in the exact same situation basically so oh well i think zoro garb is a very difficult deck to play with uh, because your your goal like some people think that your goal is to shut off abilities turn two with garbotoxin that's definitely not the goal that's the opposite of what you're trying to do yeah and now i know we're up against a mirror match um 60 cards net i know that's an account that's shared by people so we don't know who we are up against if worlds was tomorrow what would you play i have no idea pogala i'm considering a few different decks but i can't tell you what i play tomorrow because it's too early to tell um and basically i i get a direct day two you know i get a direct day two invite so i actually get to see what gets played on day one and then I make a decision. Okay, so nothing out of the norm, nothing that we are not expecting. Max Potion, Acerola, 
So this is probably a 60 card mirror of the first place list from ARG. Yeah, we do get two mulligans, which is nice, although we are going second. I might just end up using Bridget for like one Slokma. No one hits the raw Bridget. Um, Mamako, yeah, exactly. It's like you adapt, right? But people think that overall, every every time you want to get the turn to Garbotoxin Lock, and definitely not the right way to go about it. Hello again, Dylan. And Zoro Lucario is the secret play. Zoro Lucario, I think, is fine. Um, I think it's a fine play. The one energy, one kill attack is definitely very appealing. And yeah, by doing that, my opponent is definitely playing around. Um, my opponent is definitely playing around um, Prowl CD. Yeah. So, oh, I should have played the Lele down. Oh, that was silly. Should have played the Lele down because if he plays Prowl CD, I discard the Lele, but I have a draw supporter. So that was not great. We might see a Prowl CD immediately here. Um, that Ultra Ball, I guess. No, it's going for the Lele. Okay. So yeah, I should have benched the Lele and grabbed something like Cynthia. And maybe my opponent would end me here. Well, that's fine because my hand gets refreshed. There's the Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> I don't know why I can speak today. And... Another Evil Soda. Yeah, that's... My opponent is definitely gonna get Paralysis here. Stone. Okay, so my opponent is actually gonna go on the aggressive here. Um, a Max Rock, Cisa Podria Jugar Mars. Do I think Zorbot will do good in Worlds? No, I don't think so. Um, very strange that my opponent chose to go the aggressive route rather than um, getting the Prowl CD. Okay, so. Here's the thing, I'm actually tempted to get Macargo because I only have one Macargo and I have four Zorks. Uh, no. I'll still get a Zork though. I can't just give up another Zorua for free here. Um, and doesn't do me any good, so I'll Cynthia. Um, what do you think about Zorgar with just Trash Lunch for post rotation? I think that's a pretty decent call. Um, okay, Choice Man's not gonna be that great here. Uh, but yeah, no more cargo, unfortunately. Pff, I don't wanna bench the Mew. Ugh. I'm, I think I go for this. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna resource management here. So I'm gonna put back the Enhanced Hammer, I'm gonna put back the Zerua, and I'm gonna put back the Choice Man, I believe. Not the Choice Man, the Cynthia maybe? Uh, yeah, the Choice Man, let's do the Choice Man. Um, what do you have to do to get a demo account, Pogala? They only give them to content creators, to big content creators um, whom they have a list of, and they've stopped giving out demo accounts. So. I'm pretty sure they haven't given out a demo account um, because someone made uh, bad use out of one. So you can't get a demo account anymore. Is there any cheap meta deck? Um, Buzzle's decently cheap. Greninja, I guess, is decently cheap. Zoark is not too expensive. Um, am I going to chase top 16 again next year? It's only top 8 for Latin America. Um, but yes, I probably am. I'm not going to every event like this year, but I probably would. Wait, what? Psychic? Energy? What? Sharing the account. Yeah, basically sharing the account. Okay, so my opponent will pick up Azurua here. Um, 
How many counter catchers? Just one. And collapsing rebel. First place at Worlds is the goal. First place at Worlds is obviously the goal. Okay, so my opponent is trying to deny me Zorgs more than um, resources, which I guess Zorgs are a resource. Um, okay, so straight end here for us. And yeah, double puzzle. I mean, enhanced hammer here. And then double puzzle. For the Zorua and the Evo Soda. And thank you so much for the follow. I think I missed. Yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. So, <laughs> Dylan, thank you so much for the bits as well. So now I'm going to play Parallel CD. I'm definitely going to smooth over for a Parallel CD. Or. Yeah, Parallel City. Delinquent is not too impactful if we get delinquented this upcoming turn. And perfect, another Zerua even. That's really nice. What is a good post expanded deck? I have no idea. Um, Zorogarb, Bus Rock. Bus Rock is always good. Yeah. You think it's a random energy for Tapu Cure? Maybe. Maybe. What's my favorite Pokemon and why? <laughs> my favorite Pokemon is Nidoqueen. Um, okay, so we basically we KO'd Azurua without actually KOing it. And Lois, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Very kind of you guys. You guys have really been coming through to the... To the stream today with a bit. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so Enhanced Hammer and Double Puzzle. 100% those are the cards that I get back. Yeah. 100% those are the cards that I get back. Um, Trevenant with no Wally potentially, yeah. Trevenant with no Wally. That's also potentially viable. Uh, trade away the Mew, that, that's fine. See a smooth over <laughs> for I'd imagine field blower or something. I mean my opponent has to kill the Oranguru at some point. Trubbish, thank you so much for the follow. Is Malmar good and expanded? Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Tama Drummer, thank you so much for the 220 bits. And yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind my cargo disappearing here. I wouldn't mind my cargo disappearing. Maybe with Giratina EX. Maybe. Okay, Guzma and a Psychic. So my opponent is going to resource management here. Uh, promote him a cargo, that's fine. He will resource management. And he will enhance hammer, that's fine. There's a resource management, okay. So we need a big end here. I'm only playing, no, I am playing two float zones. I'm playing two floatstones. Thank you so much, Tama Drummer. Very kind of you. Puts back two floatstones and a DC, which makes sense. So at the end we'll put we'll shuffle those cards. Uh, these are not great cards to get. And so I think I smooth over for a Zwark. It's just not looking good here. It's not looking good for us. Um, Abai, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, okay, we get another Zork. Oh no, I the <laughs> I I smooth over for that Zork. Um, discarding Prigen and Lele. We'll get another Zork. If we lose them a cargo, that could be problematic, actually. But net and expanded. Uh, I don't know. It could be decent. And 
trade this. Oh, not quite. So I can counter Gatcher. Don't think that accomplishes much, but I can counter Gatcher. And then I pass. Okay. We miss a turn of resource management. We miss a turn of pressure. We're gonna see the smooth over before the first trade. What do you guys think is correct? To trade and then smooth over trade or to smooth over trade and then keep on trading? Uh, hello, Kubik Neo. Yeah, trade smooth trades. I agree with that. So my opponent deciding what he wants to get. Um, this game is actually going to be very long. <laughs> this game is actually going to be insanely, insanely long. No, exactly. Like if you have more than one trade, you trade first and then you smooth over and trade with your last one. Because if you start with the trading, um, you could end up getting the card that you were going to smooth over for. So you can smooth over for a different card. Yeah, depending on the priorities. Okay, my opponent chooses not to discard my float stone. Parallel CDs, me now. Um, get rid of my Zork. And then, that was not ideal, but it is what it is. We're gonna see a TT and a pass. Okay, so my opponent prioritizes. Interesting. I think I'm gonna delinquent here. Yeah, I'm gonna delinquent. Let's see what my opponent gets rid of. He has four cards, a Zork, an N, and an Ultra Ball. Okay. And then let's trade first. We get a DCE. So, ooh, I actually have KO on the Macargo. Thanks to our stadium. Oh no, my Floatstone is prized. You're kidding. My second Floatstone is actually prized. You are kidding me. Should have known that before, I guess, but... Oh, come on. Come on. Um, I guess the Enhanced Hammer, then. That was really sad. Caving my cargo here would have actually been insanely good. Now my opponent will probably KO my Macargo. Uh, choice band? No. Yeah, my second floatstone being prized is actually really sad. Ugh. Okay, so next turn I'm probably gonna have to smooth over for a Kuzma to get this guy out. And I wouldn't mind killing the Oranguru. This is a really weird match though. I also have one Enhanced Hammer prized. Oh my gosh, does he actually have double puzzle? He top decked? He kept a puzzle and he top decked a puzzle. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh well. Okay, so trades away at Lele. It's gonna knock out my Macargo? Maybe. What a top deck by my opponent. What a top deck. Oh, he smoothed over. No, he didn't smooth over the previous turn. He didn't trade either. He top decked. He smoothed over traded the previous game, the previous turn. So no, I don't think that was off of um, smooth over. I don't believe so. Okay, so, and, and we're gonna lose our Macargo. We could have KO'd our Macargo, but now we're gonna lose our own Macargo. 
Okay. That was an insane top deck for my opponent. I mean, he was gonna smooth over anyways, I guess, so it doesn't matter. Um. So. My opponent is trying to win the game by prizes. Okay, let's trade first, Paolo. Let's trade first. Let's not go into desperation mode. And then... Let's trade the Mew? I'm gonna bench another slot my here. And thank you so much for the follow, Suitman. Um, six cards. I'm gonna wait until I can combine red card with a delinquent play. So... Definitely gonna remove that. Then I'm going to resource management here. Gonna put back the Macargo, the hammer, and the delinquent, I guess. There's merit to DC as well, but I think these are fine for now. This is a really strange game. This is actually a really strange game i i think this game could go infinite like it could get to a point where we're both using resource management or i might be too far behind i might also be too far behind um hello jerkin thank you so much for being here i'm doing well thank you how about yourself i might be too far behind Oh, we see crushing hammers. I might be too far behind. Um, so Dull Puzzle, Parallel CD, Enhanced Hammer, three DCEs already gone. I have still a smooth, smooth over trade. Yeah, there's a smooth over. He knocks out the Oranguru, that could be a problem because I don't have my cargo. I can't believe we had the flowstone price. That flowstone price might actually be our demise. The flowstone price might actually be our demise. Okay, so we're gonna see the second enhanced hammer. We're gonna see a Guzma. And yeah, my opponent knows that I don't have another flowstone. How much time do I practice a day? It's different every day, but anywhere between six to 10 hours between coaching and streaming and stuff can be 6 to to 10 or even 12 hours sometimes yeah double puzzle on dc um thanks so much for the follow il um okay so i get double puzzle so i might have to double puzzle for lele and field blower something like that there's a guzma so I couldn't up KOing his Macargo. I wish I could take down the Oranguru though. I know that the Enhanced Hammer is at the bottom. I don't... Okay, I'll knock out Nisma Cargo. I'll apply some pressure. And I'll do it with this guy because that allows me to... Um, once he hits me, I will Acer Ola. And I will get back the float. And to Roflare, and if you want more information on coaching, um, please send me a message on Facebook. Magma Ring, lock my cargo. Uh, that won't work. That won't work because my opponent has double puzzles for the Kuzmas. So that will definitely not work. How's the deck treating me? Um, we're stuck in this really weird, in my opinion, infinite mirror match. Um, the second flowstone was really sad for us being prized, so that was not great. Purple Cliff. Um, 
It's just I don't enjoy playing this deck. I really don't enjoy playing this passive control style. So it's definitely not my cup of tea. Um, I wouldn't mind KOing the Ranguru. I did get my card off my prize cards. He did something like 1 15th of match with Zoar Clock. <laughs> oh, 1 hour 15 minutes. Yeah? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure my opponent is playing Trash Lunch for the mirror. He's playing either a 1 1 or a 2 2 Trash Lunch and Psychic Energies for the mirror match. So I'm gonna have to KO that Trubbish. ARG stand ARG is a is a company. ARG is a company that runs Pokemon tournaments. Double puzzle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Carbo the Trash Lash is for the mirror match. Hands hammer and parallel CD. Jeez, so annoying. So freakishly annoying. So now I have to KO the Trubbish whilst I'm not using resource management. Double puzzle and rescue stretcher. Yeah, he knows I'm gonna go after the Trubbishes continually. Um, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine item cards. So let's trade once. And then I dole puzzle for parallel DC. Pretty sure my last DC is priced. <laughs> Just another thing we have to deal with. Yeah. My last DC is priced. My Team Rocket's handiwork is priced. It's getting pretty ridiculous here. Um, hands hammer? No. Well, maybe. No, I think a puzzle piece. I don't think I can keep up with my opponent's deck at this point. I mean, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have him get rid of a Zork though, which is good. Um, Prowl CD and DC. I 100% need those. So I'm gonna do this. Then I will goose my the Trubbish to make sure that he doesn't get rid of that. I'll do that. I will probably CD him. He will discard a Zork. What is my favorite deck of all time or of this format? Oh, I still have an extra trade. Oops. Oh, I never traded after. No, I did. No, I never traded after I smoothed over. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to trade after I smoothed over. This is like watching golf, right? Okay, my opponent needs a lot of cards here in order to recover. If I had Team Rocket's handiwork, though. If I had Team Rocket's handiwork. Ah, oh, this would be very different, but it's prized. The, the tech card for the mirror match is prized. He has Trash Lunch, I have Team Rocket's handiwork. Okay. We're gonna see a trade. My opponent is going to resource management here, right? He has to. You'd rather have Miss Magius than Garb? I don't know. This is why you play Dex. No. <laughs> you don't play that. 
lower. I'm gonna have to double puzzle for a Kuzma plus DC. Uh, okay, he's gonna risk his stretcher back three Pokemon, I'd imagine. Yeah, Zoro, Zoro, and Lele. Doesn't choose to get back the Trubbish though, interesting. And he will double puzzle yet again. So what's your final verdict on Zwark Panette? Um, I think it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I think I would prefer to play the Tabu Lele GX, SGX Lethal. Uh, not the Tabu Lele GX, sorry, the Fairy Lele, rather than Sylvian GX. And there's the Trubbish. So yeah, basically the Trubbish means you have to focus on KOing the Trubbish. And then if you do that, then your opponent is free to um, set up trash challenge and beat you that way. Yeah, I don't think I can win here because he has a trash challenge tech. I'm pretty sure I cannot win this one because of the trash challenge tech. <laughs> because if I do puzzle here for my last energy, I am done for. If I don't get my last energy. Yeah, this is bad. This is actually really bad. I need Guzma because my silly floatstone. My my floatstone cost me this game. My floatstone actually cost me this match. Glowstone actually cost me his match. I think I'm gonna red card just to shuffle his hand in his deck. He can still get anything, everything he wants, anyways. Um, I'll smooth over for delinquent. Not relevant. Team Rocket's handiwork is what I needed. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this one. Resource management for two puzzle pieces and a DCE. Yeah, I'm stuck in this loop though. I'm 100% stuck in this loop. I fungi, he can look at his whole deck anyways. I'm trying to make it so that maybe Trash Alanch is the last card in his deck. Yeah, that's why. It's clear that if I don't if I don't red card, he has a chance. If I don't red card, he never whiffs Trash Alanch. If I red card, maybe he whiffs Trash Alanch. So that's why. <laughs> Um, okay, fair enough. I mean, with, you are a Zorak deck, SGX Lethal, so you beat Malamar no matter what. Like, you just parallel them, and that's how you beat them. Yeah, double puzzle for the Psychic here, guaranteed. He found the Trash Challenge. He's gonna get Psychic and Kuzma, and he's gonna Trash Challenge KO a Zorak. And that's gonna be it. It's actually going to be it. Why don't you try to knock out Ranguru? Because if I do, like, I could, I wanted to do that earlier, but I just never got the right combination of cards to do it. I never got the right combination of cards to do it. And this is where one Team Rocket's handiwork flip, and I win. Wait, what? Okay, he's playing around that. Um, yeah, not going to work anymore. Um, so I need to Kuzma, right? Hello, Poseidon. I definitely need to Kuzma here. Oh, so I can't delinquent. 
The second flowstone is what cost me this game. 100% the second flowstone is what cost me this game. I'm gonna get Field Blower. I'm gonna get the Guzma. Stadium and this. And then resource management. Yeah, I don't see how I win. Um. Okay. He's only running two psychics, I'd imagine. Therefore, yeah, double puzzle for sure. That's my other card. Maybe red card? No. Yeah, maybe red card. No, it has to be floodstone. This is weird. No secret agent. <laughs> I do not. I'm not decked out, Tama Drummer. I'm using resource management. I can never deck out. Oh, you were asking. <laughs> very nice, Alex. Very nice. I can't trade Oblivion Tacos. I can't trade from this account. I can't do trades from this account, so I can't help you. This is a demo account. Okay, Kuzma and Psychic, yeah. Kuzma and Psychic. Only two puzzles. Yeah, there's no way. Wait, he used resource management? That's really odd. Puzzle, puzzle, Kuzma. Um, so delinquent could be decent. Oh, handy work though. Why is my opponent just not attacking me? Okay, can I get a KO? I can't, but if I do, I lose. Because he runs me out of energy. Oh, because I have a DC prize. My prizes were so bad this game. Double puzzle. For what? A basic. Maybe I KO Trash Lunch this turn? No, I don't. I lose if I do. So I'm gonna Flirt Grunt. And that. I don't know why I got back the energy. Oh. Oh yeah, this is fine. Flare Grunt, Retreat, and Resource Management. Okay, so definitely double puzzle. Maybe triple puzzle this time? Yeah, let's do a triple puzzle. This is really odd. 
Not sure that triple puzzle was right. Is Oranguru needing Zoro Garb? I don't think so. It's I don't think it's a hundred percent, but it's a nice to have, just to guarantee. Ah, the Team Rocket's handiwork. I was pressuring his deck. How many cards do I have in deck? Three. Wait, Lele? Place down a Lele? For Guzma? Here we go again. Or not. See, Team Rocket's handiwork. I win. Team Rocket's handiwork. I win. Or not. He has the rescue. He, he very smartly gets the rescue stretcher. So double hands. Yeah, this is game. Because I am forced to KO the guard. I am 100% forced to KO the guard. And yeah, that tech ends up giving my opponent the win. That tech ends up 100% giving my opponent the win. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. That tech ends up giving my opponent the win. That was exhausting. <laughs> that was actually exhausting. And that, guys, that mirror match is the reason why I will not be playing Zorg. My card at Worlds. There's no way. We're going to see it through that five rounds at Worlds. Absolutely no way. Um, or in Guru Zorg Garb, potentially very useful, just not 100%. Yeah. Um, in order for it not to be a loop match, um, you have to play some sort of weird tech, such as Trash Lynch, yeah, or we are playing Team Rocket's Handiwork, however, it was priced in the key game, uh, the floatstone being priced was also uh, very key, so there was um, a lot that went wrong in that match. Um, so yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We will be trying out now another Caesar GX deck to give it some sort of redemption from the other day. And um, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I will be right back, guys. If you're live, don't go anywhere. Just one second, and I will, well, like five minutes or so, and I will be right back, okay?